hello everybody it's Karen Karen and I'm here to promote my Etsy store it's Karen Karen crafty .etsy.com and right now I am selling wonderful Christmas ornaments that you send me the picture here's someone sent me a picture of a dog and then I put a famous bridge in the back and look at then I put some little cars on top I put Merry Christmas on it I put some ducks floating on it and puppies laying in flowers and oh yeah, this lady, she's just standing there watching him. So this could be a Christmas ornament, a personalized Christmas ornament that you would give to a loved one who has a beautiful dog like this. See, I, and this one, <laughs> I put a background in it and it said, this could be you. So send me your pictures and I'll send you an ornament. Hopefully kind of strike, kind of post strike ends soon and we can get it all done. But I kind of wanted to, um, show you the evolution of Christmas ornaments. I've been making homemade Christmas ornaments for family and friends for probably close to 29 years, 29 or 30 years. Um, so I wanted to share them with you. The first ornament I ever made was for my son's first Christmas and it is an embroidery. Look, now it's an embroidered, um, Christmas ornament. So I took some white fabric, I glued it to some cardboard, and um, then I uh, I made a backing for it. I put a little ring on it, and then I embroidered Zachary's first Christmas, 1995, and I embroidered some nice trees. I put some beads on it. I embroidered presents. So this was my first try at a Christmas ornament for my son, Zach. Now, I also did the same thing for my son, Benjamin. I made his a little bit bigger. I put more padding on it and uh, did the same thing. Benjamin's first Christmas, 1997. Put some trees, put a star, put some gifts underneath. Oh no, I don't, he has no gifts. Oh, poor Ben, he has no gifts. Um, but that is the, that's the second ornament that I ever made. Now the third ornament that I ever made was this one. It's a macaroni angel. It's made out of, um, Oh, I can't even remember what this macaroni called. Well, this is the macaroni, and then it's got a wooden ball head. It's got a macaroni to attach the the string to it, and uh, little, uh, and then and then oh, this was um, was it couscous? I can't remember that the hair was. And then we and then I painted them all right. I, I think I spray painted them in the backyard, and so I gave this away to family and friends in like maybe 1999. So I didn't think of this macaroni angel. I saw it at a craft store, at a craft sale, at a church in our neighborhood in Ritchie in Edmonton. And I was like, I bet I could make them. And I've made, I made a whole bunch of them. I think I made over a hundred and I was giving them away in packs of six or something to family and friends. So, Oh, look at, yeah, a bow. It was the bow um, macaroni that was the wings. This one, the bow must have fallen off. And these are very brittle right now. These are like, I don't know, 25 years old, 28 years old. So yeah, I'm amazed they're still living. And then the snowman is another um, a uh, homemade ornament I I made. I used to have a fireplace in my house, and so I would I'd put these on a string, and then I'd put a snowman, a, a, a Christmas stocking, a snowman, a Christmas stocking. And I think I had three snowmen, <coughs> and there was four of us, so it kind of worked out. So, and this I probably made around 2,000 or so. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Then I, I was at a store one day and I found these patterns, this, this, this fabric, and I was like, <coughs> I was like I could totally make some wonderful um, quilted um, ornaments out of this. So, you know, I, uh, <coughs> I quilted them and then I added a backing and then I added a hook and these hang in my house every Christmas. This one I made, I think around 2018 and it is, my dad used to work for a construction company that also rented warehouses. And the GWG company lived in this warehouse and they would throw out um, little pieces of denim. 
even sometimes jeans and my dad would dig it out of their um, um, garbage bin because that's who my dad was. He was a dumpster diver. I think that's where I get it from. So I made these ornaments, these um, Christmas stars, and then I sewed a little plaid heart on them, and then I oh, and then I sewed an ornament to them. And this is a, I made like a hundred of these, and I gave these away to people I worked with at uh, Save On Foods in Camrose here. And um, also wrote a little story to my nephew about the, the history of the stars. So that was 2018. I think this was 2019, this Christmas tree. I sewed it from some red fabric that I had and then um, this uh, rick rack I think it's called rick a rack I sewed it on and then I sewed it with a whole bunch of uh, little, little trinkets that I found from jewelry that um, I got from Goodwill. Like they, Goodwill sometimes puts a whole bunch of jewelry in a bag and sells it for 10 bucks. And then I would buy those bags, go through the jewelry and find some nice little ornaments. And look, here's another one, another quilted one. So this was probably around 2005, 2006. And here's the last year's ornament. 2023. Uh, this is a felt ornament. It's a little birdie. And then I, I embroidered some nice flowers onto the birdie and then just a little line to create continuity. I sewed a little bead for the eye and then I put the year on it. This is the first time I've ever put the year on it, 2023. So that was last month's, last year's ornament. I think I made about 40 or 50 of these. And then I um, mailed them out to family and friends. This one was 2020. And um, actually I have a whole bunch of these left over because I made like a hundred of them. And then I... Um, took some time off from Save On Foods and didn't give these out at Save On Foods because um, they were doing some really hinky stuff with me at that point in time. Uh, so I wasn't there at Christmas that year. So in 2020, these, I, I sent like 50 out um, at Christmas time and now I still have about 50 left that I'm selling on my Etsy store. <laughs> Now, this is, I really like this one. I think it's really cute. It's the ugly sweater ornament. I even made the little hangers. Now this one, I think was 2022. Maybe 2021. 2021, let's say this one's 2021. Um, so it's a, this one has a Christmas tree on it. And uh, then I just uh, did a little embroidering around it. The back is uh, a little rough, so the back looks a little rough. But uh, the front is really cute. I just think it's nice, the ugly, ugly Christmas sweater ornament. I really like that one. And I think that is about it for the homemade ornaments. I have a lot more of these from um, that fabric that I found at the store. And I have a whole bunch of these. And I have, a, I have quite a few of these trees, which are quite nice. And this one I love, it's got bells on it. So that is the evolution of, what, of my Christmas ornaments. I've been making them since 1995 when my little son Zachary was born. And I thought he needs to have a Zachary's first Christmas ornament. I should probably pass that one along to him, I, I should say. But then, and now, I'm making this photo fusion art and I'm using them as like, you could use them as Christmas ornaments or just gifts for a friend. Uh, it could be a coaster. Look at that. And I, I put Varathane on them so they're water resistant. Um, this one has my bunny on it. This is Annabelle, she passed away. So this is a nice memorial photo fusion art for me. And then on the back, I put my other two bunnies. Very cute, very cute. And of course we have this one again with um, Benjamin and his beautiful girl, Stephanie. Ben on the back, Merry Christmas. And then these are for my son for Christmas. He hasn't seen them yet. So there, there's his cat, Ozzy, <laughs> hiding, in the, hiding in the bushes. And uh, their cat, Minx, in front of a 
Indian palace or, or temple. I'm not sure which one, but there we go. So I'm going to leave my, um, um, uh, the link to my Etsy store, Karen, Karen Crafty dot Etsy dot com in the, in the blow. And, uh, if you'd like something, um, if you'd like to get an, an interesting Christmas ornament that nobody will ever see anywhere else, you get it from me. Oh, here, this one I made in 2009. And it's another one of those little fabric pattern ones. Those ones were nice. I like to do those because I could do them on the sewing machine. It was nice and easy. But that is the evolution of my Christmas ornament. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Share me with a friend because you know I'd love to see them. Bye-bye.